Welcome to the project demonstration of vehicle to grid bidirectional energy transfer. So it's a grid synchronization using the hysteresis current control. So here uh, okay, vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle also we are doing here. So vehicle nothing but the battery along with the DC motor representing the vehicle section. And when you are going to control the uh, like uh, DC motor to the battery directly we need to on the microcontroller. So it will control the bidirectional system like vehicle controlling as well as grid controlling. So the grid is representing with the help of this edge bridge and this is the like boost converter so which will act as a bidirectional DC to DC converter. So here the operation is we are providing the 12 volts DC input to this bidirectional DC to DC converter. So by selecting the switch so there we are using the switch here. So this side uh, DC uh, generate uh, like uh, DC mode and when we are changing the mode to the AC mode then the 12 volts DC will be converted into the AC directly with the help of this HP circuit and we need to on the two power supplies one is for the AC inputs and another is for the DC input for this microcontroller to operate the whole system in a, like uh, controlling the DC to DC bidirectional converter. So when we select the DC inputs, so then the system will control the DC motor directly with the help of this DC to DC converter along with the transistor board. And coming to the AC mode, so same that the 12 volts DC is input to the HP circuits, there we are going to convert the 12 volts DC to 12 volts AC with the help of this MOSFETs. So here we are using the two types of MOSFETs. One type these two are IRF540 and these two are IRF9540. These two types of MOSFETs are formed in a manner of H bridge and from there we are going to get the 12 volts AC output with 2 amps. So that will be step up with the help of this step up transformer which will take 12 volts AC input and provide us the 230 volts AC output to this grid mode. So this one will representing the grid section and this one will representing the vehicle section and this one is the H bridge and this one is the DC to DC converter and the LEDs will show the status of which mode was active now. So once we provide the 5 volts power supply from this adapter to this microcontroller, it start read the input from the selection switch. So which mode we have selected, whether the DC mode or AC mode. And after that, it will control the DC to DC converter initially. So for example, if I place in DC to DC mode, then it will only control the 12 volts DC to or the motor section. And when we on that, the 12 volts DC will be step up to the 230 volts AC with the help of this HP gen. Uh, like uh, step up transformer circuits. So we have interfaced this LED at C4 and C5. Switch was interfaced at the B0 and uh, this transistor board is connected at the C7 pin and C0, C1 for this HB circuits. A0, A1 connected to this DC to DC converter. So these are the main connections in our project. So let us see demonstration on the power supply to the transformer and now on the power supply to this microcontroller. As of now, we kept that in DC mode. So the red LED will show the status of DC mode. In the vehicle mode, we are running that. Means the DC to DC converter disables the inverter section. Only that uh, 12 volts DC is converted to the like uh, out generated motor. And when we keep that in AC mode, so called 12 volts DC will be again back to the AC here. So here, when we are placing in DC mode, same 230 volts from here is converted into the 12 volts DC and from there to the battery, battery to the DC to DC converter again and from there to the DC motor means vehicle and when we on that same 12 volts DC is again uh, to this uh, DC to DC converter and from there so the output of the DC to DC converter is yeah this is the DC to DC converter output right so both outputs we can see that one is for the DC motor both are parallelly and another is for the HP circuit so the HP circuits will convert the 12 volts DC to, to uh, 12 volts AC and that will be step up to the 230 volts AC and that will be given to the grid load here 230 volts AC load here right so if you want to charge the only battery just on the power supply to this AC and no need to on this microcontroller it will uh, it will do the only like uh, grid to the vehicle section and when we on the microcontroller it will taking care of the input from the switch and will control the vehicle to grid or grid to vehicle so now we are representing that vehicle to the grid section directly as a bidirectional one 